Hi, this is Jillian. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on Loom, which is the program that I like using to create YouTube videos. It's really nice in that it has multiple settings, whether you want to show your screen, show your face, or show your screen and face. You can kind of do it all using Loom. So best thing about Loom is it's free. So this is a great little program that I'm going to walk you through today. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Loom website and it is www.useloom.com and that will get you there and you can sign up for a free account. doesn't cost anything. Just go ahead and click that big blue button and you'll get Loom for free. And what it does is it's, it, it actually installs a very small little uh, extension, a Chrome extension to Chrome. It likes working in Chrome best. So um, that's what you'll use to go ahead and use Loom in the future is using this little extension. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in and I'm going to use my email. You can sign in many different ways. So let me just go ahead and sign in and we're in. So Loom allows you to create up to 100 videos for free, which I think is just awesome that you can do that. And um, you can delete them at any time. You can store them in folders. As you can see, I have a couple of different folders here and you can title your videos. There's no length of time on how long your videos can be or how short your videos can be. So you have a lot of uh, flexibility with your account here. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a Loom video. So the first thing you need to do is you always have to be signed into Loom in order to start making a video and you have to be on this Loom page to get started. So you sign into Loom and then you go over here to the Chrome extension and all you have to do is click on it and it gets you ready to record. And as you can see my little face now popped in the screen. Hello! And you can see the microphone audio is zipping away, meaning that it's actually hearing me. So this is a good thing. I do recommend that you use a microphone. It just sounds a lot better than if you just use the native microphone that comes with your laptop or computer or whatever you're using. So I just have my Apple earbuds in. It doesn't need anything fancy, but the fancier the microphone, the better your sound's going to be. And with YouTube, sound really does matter. So I highly recommend that you do that. And right here, I'm going to just dismiss this message at the bottom so that it doesn't show up. And before we start recording, I'm just going to show you a couple of different things. So first of all, you have the option to do your entire screen and your camera. So you see I'm down here in the little corner here. I can make myself bigger by clicking on these buttons and I'd become bigger and bigger, but I kind of like keeping it small and keeping it in the corner. I can actually drag this around and put this anywhere on the screen, but I like for consistency to just go ahead and keep it down here in the bottom because I feel for the most part it doesn't really cover too much stuff up. So that's a good place to do if you are doing the screen and the camera. Now you can also have it on screen only and if you do that of course it's just going to be your entire screen and I have the option of having just my default loom picture show up or I can change that to a different picture or I can get rid of it totally and I'll show you how you do that and then of course you can also do it with just the cam and that would be me on the whole screen. So let's go back to the screen and the cam. So let's have a look at the uh, advanced options because these are important. So if you click here where it says advanced options, you'll see that you can flip the camera. So you've got something goofy where you want to have the opposite side. I'll just flip it so you can see. So now you can see, look at the clock. Whoops, the clock behind me, it, it changes either side. So you can flip the camera. I'm not really sure why I would want to flip the camera, but I guess if something looks weird and goofy, you might want to flip the camera. Uh, leave the microphone alone. It's usually best on the default setting. Um, so you don't want to do anything with that. You can, I've uploaded a photo um, to have for my Zoom account, my, sorry, Loom, Loom, not Zoom. <laughs> it's a totally different program. For your Loom account, you can upload a photo and I highly suggest you do that so that you have that option of displaying it in the bottom corner when you're 
uh, just doing the desktop only. If you don't want to have, if you want to have the full screen and not just your picture in the corner, you can go ahead and turn that off. And now with that setting, my whole screen would show. And I'll just show you how that looks. I'll go back here for a minute and it should say screen uh, screen only at this point and you no longer see me in the bottom corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on and boop, I appear again. So that's kind of fun. So we'll go back to the screen and cam. Now the control menu, you can have that on or off and the control menu you can see shows up by my picture here and that just allows me to stop the recording, cancel the recording, uh, I can hide the menu, resume, pause, start the recording. I prefer to not have that cluttering up the screen so I actually turn that off. So that is the control menu. And then the last thing is a recording countdown. I would leave that highlighted, uh, leave that selected because you wanna kind of have some idea of when all of a sudden you are going from uh, being ready to go and then boom, you're gonna start and you're gonna go. So at this point, let's go ahead and just do a start of a recording and you have the option of showing your entire screen or just one application window. I'm gonna go with my entire screen so that I don't get confused what I'm showing and what I'm not showing. So then you go ahead and click share and then now you'll see the timer is going and I'm gonna go ahead and hide the little message at the bottom and there we go. You can see my screen, you can see me talking and if I go to another website, it, I come along with it. So no matter what website I go to, I keep coming along in this little corner here. So that's kind of fun. So here we can see that we can do like live, live stuff. I can go through, this is a website I was looking at, which was just kind of interesting, fun things to do on a Saturday afternoon of looking at different cool programs out on the internet and stuff like that. So as you can see, that wouldn't matter if I was just doing a Google search, I can hop over to another window. I should hop along and follow it. So let's see, we will do a Google search for um, movies. How about uh, good, good, good Netflix movies? And do they spell Netflix right? And there I there I go. I come along. So here, if Saturday night, I want to know what is the movie that's uh, on Netflix tonight that I should actually be watching. I can go through and get some ideas. And did you see? I came along for the page and uh, getting some recommendations here. Oh, very very scary movies. None of these of which I would actually want to watch. So we'll go out of here and we'll uh, stop recording. So let's see. We'll go back here to this website. If I want to stop recording, what I need to do is I'm going to go to the upper right corner and you see the little red dot that's pulsing? That means that I'm recording on Loom. So if I want to stop recording, all I have to do is click the extension and that's it. I'm done. And there is my film here at film. Here is my YouTube. So I could call this whatever I want. So maybe I'm going to call it Loom Demonstration. And if I want to check it out, I can go ahead and hit And play. I'm going to go ahead and hide the little message at the bottom. And there we go. You can see my screen. You can see me talking. And if I go so there you go. You can see that it's recorded everything that we just recorded live, which is great. I can change the title. I can leave the title as is. And at this point, if I want to get it to YouTube, I can go ahead and click the, um, needs a couple more minutes, I think, to process. But when it's ready, all I have to do is click the download button. That will download to my laptop that I'm using. And then I can go ahead and I can upload it to YouTube. And easy peasy, I got a video ready to go. And I think that's really nice. I like having the loom in the corner when I'm recording because I just kind of think it makes your videos a little bit more personal. So I really like that. If there was anything that I wanted to edit, it's nice is that loom does have some editing features. So I would just go ahead and click on trim and then here I can click the start trimming. So say for instance, I wanted to cut off, I don't know if I wanted to cut off the last, you know, 10 seconds or the middle or whatever, you can 
move these little flags around and then you can hit remove and it will remove that. You can of course play and see what it is. What you need to do is I'm going and I can say I, I, I don't want to have that. So you figure out what it is that you want trimmed and you might say okay from here to here make it play. Does that sound Pulsing. right? Yeah, that's that's what I'd like trimmed. And then you just click the remove button. You can get very, very precise using the little time. So I can make it shorter, I can make it longer. So basic trimming, if you've ever used Camtasia before or iMovie, you kind of have a, a, an idea of how trimming works. So, you know, you have to kind of play with that and get used to it, but it's nice that you can do some actual editing Probably for the most part, you're going to find if you have to do any trimming, it's probably when you start, you know, you're coughing or you're flipping to another screen or something like that. And then anything that you want to remove, you can go ahead and click remove. There's also a cancel in case you blow it, which is nice. And they even have a revert to original. So if you totally mess it up, it's great because you can come back in here and you can make any of your changes. So I'm not going to do any of mine because I'm happy with the way it is. And that's pretty much all you need to know for using Loom to make a YouTube video. But just as a little bonus about using Loom, you can actually take your Looms and if you didn't want to use them to YouTube, you could go ahead and you could share them. So you could share them in a link and put them in an email. You could embed them on your website. You could share them to Twitter. You can share them to Facebook, share them to Gmail. So it's nice that it has those features built right in and it's really easy. Like if I kick, uh, click the uh, Facebook, it will bring up my Facebook and I would just have to go ahead and you know log in, but I could share it to my personal Facebook page, my business Facebook page, a group that I'm a part of, all sorts of different options there. And if you want to uh, send your Loom video to anybody in an email, you can even password protect it. So that's kind of cool. And if you work with Slack, like my business team members do, we can put Looms in our Slack messages to each other. So kind of an extra thing. But actually, this video really was all about just how to use Loom to create YouTube videos. It's great for doing that. I think you'll enjoy it. And happy YouTubing!